crowd approaching 20,000 people assembled at Trafalgar Square, many carrying placards with the names and photographs of the men, women and babies still held by Hamas since October the 7th. Organised by a group called 710 Human Chain Project, the speakers included some of the relatives of the captives held for the past 100 days. These are real people. They are not just faces on posters. So their pain every day in the terrorist tunnels is real. And their starvation and malnutrition, especially for babies and, uh, and kids, it's unthinkable. So every day that passes, we feel their pain and we miss them so much. The rally was titled Stand with Israel, and while demonstrators in Tel Aviv combined the 100th day with bitter criticism of the Netanyahu government's handling of the conflict, in contrast, the organizers and speakers at London's gathering remained supportive of Israel's ongoing military bombardment. We are standing next to Israel, we are supporting Israel, but more than that, we call for solidarity with Israeli people who stand under a war that they didn't want, and hopefully they will end soon, but it will take more time as we understand it. From the stage, one speaker declared himself an unapologetic Zionist. Another described the bombardment of Gaza as Israel's most justified war. The chants from the Trafalgar Square crowd have been, bring them home, bring them home now. But there is less consideration as to the best way to do that. But since Hamas and Israel last negotiated an exchange of captives in November, not a single Israeli captive has been rescued by the Israeli army. That's despite extensive military operations and the killing of thousands of Palestinian civilians. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Trafalgar Square. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.